Okay. Uh, so somebody asked me a question the other day about uh, doing a pumpkin. So my daughter and I got out and we're looking for a really fun way to do a great Halloween pumpkin. Not your kind of run of the mill jack o' lantern, but something that's really cool. Uh, so my daughter saw this picture of a pumpkin that had an eyeball in it. I mean, it's like the, it was kind of almost creepy looking, but really cool. I mean, great for Halloween, great for the season. So I thought, hey, let's figure out a way to do that. Um, so we sat down, came up with some stuff. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, you're going to need a pumpkin. So most of what you're looking for is that the pumpkin is going to have an eyeball cut right here. And we're actually going to have the, the white part of the eyeball looking through that. So get you a pumpkin big enough for that. Um, the next thing that you're going to need is a gourd. So we got a nice white one. And what we're going to look at is that uh, the pumpkin, the eyeball, this is the part that sticks out of the, the orange part of the pumpkin. But what we're looking for is not the width on these sides. It's actually the butt of the pumpkin, the bottom right here. So if you'll look um, in the eyeball right there where we're, we're talking about this space, I don't know if you can see it right here, but this circle is going to be uh, like the eyeball that we're going we're gonna to make that. So we're going we're gonna to take this shape and use it to cut into and make it mimic the, a human eyeball so it looks a lot more realistic. So you got your pumpkin, you got your gourd. Um, next thing you're going to need is two paper cups. So again, you want to have, uh, or you want to have two different size paper cups. So what we're looking for is actually this part, the circumference. And you want to have them lined up because this is going to be the part that cuts around your eyeball. This is going to be your, the part that outlines the pupil, the black part of your eye. And this part, the bigger circle, that's going to be the iris. So the pupil will go inside the iris. We're going to paint those on the bottom of the gourd. Um, you need spray paint, obviously. So uh, a couple of quick ones. So you're going to use black. This is for the, the, eye, or for the pupil, the black part of the eye. Um, you can get fun with this part, so the, the iris is the colored part of the eye, so if you want to do green, get you some green paint. I, I'd uh, encourage you to get maybe two or three different shades of whatever color you want to do your iris. You can get fun with that. We're going to use blue, and then the last color you need is white. So this is for the white of the eye, and then when we put the paint on, we're actually going to layer. So we're going to go, the first color we're going to put on is the black, and then we're going to lay, lay over the black with the, whatever color your iris is going to be. In our case, it's blue. And then we're going to lay over the blue with the white uh, to make the white of the eyes, and that's going to give you your shape. So we'll show you that in just a second and how you layer it. When you do the iris, there's some things that you can do with paper to kind of drag that out to give it more shape because we're looking for that rounded volume to make the eye look realistic. So once your eyeball is painted, the last thing you're going to do is you'll get, a, uh, you'll get clear coat paint. And this actually is good for your pumpkin too because it helps it not decompose as fast. But we're going to put clear coat on the, on the white gourd, which makes it look more translucent like a real eyeball. And then we're also going to paint the entire pumpkin so that it won't um, basically rot or decompose as fast. So let's get into that. Um, last few things that you may want, uh, cleaning stuff up. So I got a paper plate. That's just to put the gourd on so you don't get spray paint everywhere. And then you'll want uh, paper towels to clean up with, but also to do a little bit of work on the iris for the color. So let's jump into this. All right, cool. So the fun part, we're going to paint the eyeball. So uh, like I said, this is the shape you want. Uh, this part is what we're going to focus on, the butt of uh, the butt of the gourd. So the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the black paint and we're going to paint uh, what will eventually end up being uh, the pupil. Now here's the deal. We're going to paint, we're going to mask over this. So it doesn't matter if it's a perfect circle or not. We're going to paint over it, so even if it's not perfect shape, you're cool. This is the easiest part. So let's get spraying. Awesome. So we've got, as you can see it, we got a black pupil right there. Now remember I told you that you're going to have, we're going to mask this thing out when we paint it. So this is the part where we're going to start using these cups. So we've got two cups. This one is the one that we're going to use to mask the pupil in. So you want to try and get this thing kind of centered uh, on your eyeball. So we're just going to kind of pick right there. You're going to have to hold it. Let me get, get my 
blue paint ready. Put this guy down there. Um, let's see. May have to do that one again. So now we've got the we've got a black pupil, we've got a black pupil, and we have a blue iris. So remember this is the part where I told you that you uh, want to do something with a paper towel. So what we're going to do is actually put some streaks. in our eyeball. All right. So the last thing we're going to do is we're going to do the white paint. And we're going to use uh, this mask, which is what we put on to finish the white part over the iris and over the people. <coughs> All right, cool. So uh, we started putting the paint on to the gourd. Um, you may want to do a couple of layers. And when you paint uh, wet on wet, it'll tend to run. So you may want to let it dry for a little bit uh, in between layers. You can put a couple layers on there. Uh, you get uh, a translucent effect when you have multiple layers of paint. So it makes it look more realistic sometimes when you put more paint on there. So we did the, the pupil, we got the black. So you paint the black spot, you put the cup over and then you do the blue and that gives you the iris. Now we're going to do the white part. So we're going to lay this over the eye and then we're going to mask out to do the white. So we've got white paint, we've got our mask down and let's get spraying. So come, we're going to come grab, come look, take a look at this, and we're going to actually see this eyeball. So I'm going to bring it to you. We've got that translucent look, if you can see that. So we're going to let this guy sit right there and dry. I'm going to come back and uh, touch up some of those spots. We'll do it with a couple of layers of paint. I'll get my hands cleaned off until we get the iris, the pupil, and the white of the eye. And then the last thing that we're going to do, once this is all set, we're going to come back in and we're going to, we're going to hit it with a real good coat, a clear coat, two or three layers of that to give it that real kind of translucent look where you got, it looks like the wet eye, kind of like your real eye looks where you've got some sheen coming off on it. And it's really cool because when it gets behind the pumpkin, it looks like a real eyeball. It doesn't look like a, just a gourd. It looks like a real eyeball inside of the pumpkin.